we also realized that we have to really pull ourselves away from the massage parlor scene. If we don't do something like that, we'll be always be thinking of being the massage, the body rub people. So, so there's a group of people, volunteers from the o, uh, OMTA and the uh, board of directors, director of masseuse, and get together and start doing this. In order to apply, we have criteria to know our standards. To do that, where there's risk of harm. We have nothing of that because nothing is recorded. Nobody knows. Nobody know what the standard practice was at that time. It was like very thin. Um, so I quickly, quickly do that. But particularly risk of, risk of harm. I remember we have a big meeting with all the therapists here. It's like, honestly, you know, a lot of things are anecdotal. We, we never have any records. But what can we really actually do to harm the patients? We don't. Our best thing is to take care of them and stuff like that, right? So that really wreck our brain quite a bit. Finally, we kind of pinpoint one thing is that the population is getting older. And because they're getting older, they have complicated health issues. So when it comes from massage, there's a risk of harm. So because of that, we were approved. And um, so we're, we're in, the, um, in the new thing called the uh, Regulate, Regulated Health Practitioners Act. Um, so in 1991, that act was passed. And, um, and then I think it was proclaimed in 1994. 1991, the board of directors of Masseuse was replaced by the uh, CMTO, the College of Massage Therapists of Association. So that's the evolution in pace. And then after that, it's like renaissance, it's like explosion. Like, like look at today, all the presenters, all the techniques and people are doing all these. It just grew leaps and bounds after that. It was just so amazing to see. Um, we still have work to do, um, you know, definitely a lot of work to do. As I'm hearing the questions this morning, it's like, why don't we do that? Definitely a lot of thing, work to do. But I'm very confident that we can carry on and keep doing it. It will never, be, never end. But I'm just looking at Amanda and Mark, you know, and Scott and Monica um, and all this presented this morning. I have the, the, the confidence that we will continue and make this profession stronger. And also, particularly, all the questions I heard this, mo this morning, that uh, the attendees are so passionate about uh, profession. They care about, they ask those kind of questions. How do we get it better? How do we fight this? After that, I said, for sure, we can do it. So, there you go.